please subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notification bell in order to get the latest updates. It will also surprise you that the present leadership since coming to office, since coming to office, has not summoned a single meeting, hasn't sum summoned a single meeting with her advisors until two weeks ago. When they had one forced upon them by the committee, and though it wasn't good, it was fiesty. What kind of leader put together an advisory committee, lead the government for six months, and has no meeting, calls for no meeting with his advisory team? Ladies and gentlemen, think about that. Who does that? So the question is, who is the team listening to? Who is advising the president, ladies and gentlemen? That is the problem. That is a problem. Where ideas are not taken into, where ideas are suggested but will never be taken into consideration or implemented, there is nothing you can do but seek to do it yourself. And that is why I am running. I won't be putting myself up for all of this, ladies and gentlemen. For all of this trouble that this thing entails, had we a team, a team leader in the real sense of the word, a leader who cooperates and consults with a team, we have not seen one since. And you should not be fooled. We do not have one now. That's the reason I am sticking out my neck. I want to make a difference. I want to set an example of what leadership ought to be. That is what I want to do. And trust me, you will see it after September 6th. That risk derailing our liberation struggle. Those lies, unfortunately, have been spread on social media by, shockingly, members within our own cabinet. And I want to address two main lies squarely without fear or favor, which were uttered by Mr. Christopher Anu on his show. The first being that this new administration does not hold cabinet meetings. My dear brothers and sisters, that is a blatant lie. And I will come to you today to tell you why that is a lie. It might shock you to know that in this five months, the number of cabinet meetings that Mr. Christopher Anu has attended, you can count them on one hand. Perhaps maybe that's why he thinks that we're not holding cabinet meetings. I can assure the Ambazonian public that since coming into office, since the day that the cabinet was announced, the weekend of which the cabinet was announced, the very next Wednesday, our cabinet meetings started. We decided to hold cabinet meetings every fourth night. That means every two weeks for a reason. First, of course, as a cabinet, it's important to gather and update each other on what each department is doing and to co arrive at some policies together. And so we thought, well, what about time for departments to meet up? Because everybody, most people are working, everybody is very busy. So the next Wednesday should be for the departments to meet up so that they can work effectively in their small teams. Now, <clears throat> right at the very start, we made sure 
the vice president and I and our chief of staff who is doing a wonderful job by the way wonderful man so our chief of staff the vice president and myself made it our duty to hold meetings with every single department at the start to give and share and discuss their mission statements the things that they had to achieve those meetings took place so every single department has high expectations and clarity on what they need to deliver my dear brothers and sisters you will be shocked to know and you can ask this from any cabinet member any member of the department of communications and it which is being headed by mr christopher anu that in the whole of these five months they have held one departmental meeting only only one unlike other departments that have gone along and worked on their mission statements so perhaps in his mind because he hasn't had his departmental meetings and hasn't led his department to have departmental meetings perhaps in his mind he thinks that that's the same for other for other people but i can assure you dear amazonians that that is not the case we have held cabinet meetings and you can all bear me witness i have just told you that we have cabinet meetings on wednesdays we made several appeals to pastor christopher adam to review the time that he goes on air on wednesdays and thursdays because on wednesdays cabinet meetings thursdays the APP meetings, the Amber Peace Plan meetings, because what happened? When we have those meetings, cabinet members, himself of course, and other cabinet members will be absent from those meetings. Of course, everyone should be in those meetings. So if he's absent in the meetings, okay, he has his own conscious, uh, conscious to judge him, or he can explain to Amazonian people why he would come out to you and tell such blatant lies. But I'm just telling you that that is not true. The few cabinet meetings that he has attended, it's been for him to come and bully shout and force others including myself as a president to just take on whatever he says of course to no avail because being in cabinet means everybody's views should be listened to not just one person one person will not and cannot overshadow everybody else that is not leadership, definitely not.